atoms, elements, and the periodic table, electrons, patterns, and energy levels. Okay. Discovery within the periodic table. Some chemists, when putting together the periodic table, began recognizing patterns and properties and behavior of many of their elements. These elements. Following five elements share many physical and chemical properties, but have differing atomic masses. So in your worksheets, you guys have the empty boxes. And within here, we have the following five elements. What's so special about these five elements? We have lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, and cesium. Look at the periodic table. Okay, I've arranged it differently here, look-wise, than it, it is on the periodic table. They're all in the same. Which group? The alkaline metals. Okay, so they all share similar um, physical and chemical properties, but notice the different atomic mass. Okay, as listed here at the bottom. Okay, and you can use, you can refer to um, your periodic table to complete uh, your table. Now, other similar trends in, in, uh, in properties, okay, involved here with the following set of elements that displayed similar trends in their properties and behavior, okay? So here are the following. Fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, what are these? These are the, the halogens, okay? So we have the halogens. So they also share similar physical chemical properties, okay? What did we notice about the two groups that I've shown you? They're all, both represent groups of the periodic table, okay? So when we look at the different groups on the periodic table, these groups exhibit similar physical chemical properties. Okay? These similarities led chemists to, to search for fundamental properties that could be used to organize all these elements. So they found all these and they were trying to figure out a way to organize it so it would, you know, it, it would seem like there was some kind of pattern within the periodic table. And this is where the following scientists came into play. Dimitri, uh, well, it's supposed to be Mendeleev, okay. Uh, 1834 to 1907, he organized the known elements in order of increasing atomic masses. This resulted in a table of elements organized so that elements with similar properties were arranged in the same column, representing the different groups. Because Mendeleev's arrangement highlighted periodic patterns of properties, periodic meaning repeating, Okay, it was called the periodic table. So here we have a diagram, okay, which we found at that website, msnnucleus.org. Okay, uh, so you have the picture on your on your notes. Okay, and this was how he organized the elements. Okay, so look at the elements. Do you see some of the same patterns in his version of the periodic table as there is in what we call the modern day periodic table? Look at, where, look at some of the, the elements and what, right? So now we, we know the groups, they go pretty much up and down. But look at his, right? So we had here, um, right? If we go in line, okay, horizontally. Right? So notice how he listed them. And eventually they came up with what we know as the modern day periodic table. Okay, so here is the periodic table that we know of. Okay, so the modern periodic table is a modification of the arrangement first proposed by Mendeleev. Okay, which led to the arrangement of the elements according to atomic numbers. According to the periodic law, the chemical and physical properties of the elements repeat in a regular periodic pattern when they are arranged according to their atomic number. Okay, so when they're arranged this way, notice how we have hydrogen and then look at where helium is. Complete opposite sign. It wasn't right next to it. Okay, and then notice when the next period here, okay, period two, how lithium starts on the next period and it didn't kind of continue. Okay, because we know that once we, when we looked at the chemical physical properties, we noticed that, well, the groups exhibited similar properties as one another, yet they carried a different atomic mass. 